Welcome to the Orga and Fly Fishing Blog. Tony Torrance here. Um, today I am tying the jigged Zug Bug. Um, I have in the vise a C400 BL size 12 with a 532nd slotted gold tungsten bead. I'm going to start out by laying down some lead. About four wraps. Well, let's put five on there. What the heck? We'll make this guy really go down. Push it up against the bead to help that bead stand up. And then I will uh, lay some thread wraps over the top of this to secure it in place. This is a pretty bulbous looking uh, fly. It's, well, bulbous pretty much says it all. It's, uh, it's round and squatty. So this little extra lead back in here isn't going to hurt anything. And I'm just going to get this secured in here really well. Move my thread back to the bend of the hook. I'm going to tie in some peacock sword for the tail. Um, you know, fairly short uh, on this material. Probably a little over half the length of the body. And I'm just going to stop wrapping that right behind the lead to build up the area behind the lead. Next I have some Vivas um, small French oval tinsel in gold. Get that wrapped in the same area. And then some peacock curl. We'll tie that in right in that little void. And now we've evened that body out pretty well. And I've got about four or five strands of peacock curl here. And then I'm going to move up to the front of the hook. I have a wood duck feather here. And I'm just going to take this and cut it for the wing case. So I've got my wood duck here and I'm going to tie this in right up behind the bead. And I do this now for two reasons. Um, I can get a lot of stem underneath and under the fly to make sure this little bugger doesn't pull out. And also um, I'll use less thread around the head of the hook um, and reduce wraps there so that I have a little neater looking fly. It's a little harder to secure it upside down and even some guys would say on these jig hooks it doesn't matter whether you tie I guess inverted or or not on them where you have the uh, material under um, on top of the hook as it would ride versus having it riding on the back of the hook to the fish so you know it's up to you your choice but this is how I'm tying this today and I'll just get this all secured in and then I will create a dubbing loop to reinforce my peacock curl. And I'll use my hackle pliers to bring that all together and then twist that to make a chenille if you will. Just makes this material a lot uh, tougher and less likely for the fish to destroy the peacock curl in the right away. So you get a little more wear out of your fly, a little more fishing time, I guess, would be a better way of putting it. And I'm just going to keep working this on up. Trying to leave a little bit of space in there for the hackle, but not leave a huge gap at the same time. And then I will work my tinsel up through here. And you're probably only going to get about four wraps, this being a fairly short, squatty little fly. Okay, I have my hackle prepared here. I've cut a V in the back so that I can just fold this back and it'll become part of the hackle. I'll show you here. I'll just tie this in right there. Fold that back. Go over it just to reinforce that so it doesn't pull on me. 
And I'm going to stroke these fibers down and back so they all lay in place. And I'm really going to get about one wrap out of this is all, which is fine. That's about all you need. You don't need a ton of hackle. Trim that, press my wing case down into position, get thread in front of it, and just keep wrapping. Okay. Put a little whip finish on her. You could tie this with a hot spot using fluorescent orange thread if you like as well for the check nymphers out there. And there you have the jigged Zugbug. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.